and the, the new members, Honorable Deco and the, the other member who have gotten their new committees. And Honorable Speaker, I want to bring something because I'm a member of the select commi selection committee that is chaired by the majority leader, Honorable Kimani Shungwa. Madam Speaker, I must bring this matter out because this is when we are discussing this matter on the floor of the House, and I think it must go on record. Madam Speaker, yesterday in our selection committee, if you look at the motion that we have just passed, and you look at the list that has just been passed, and the names that have just been passed is a list that consists only on the from the majority side. There is no single change from the minority side. But Madam Speaker, the minority side had their own changes to do. And we were not punishing anyone. We wanted to reorganize our committees so that they can become more effective. Because if you want to punish anyone, you will de-whip him. And the, the whipping is done under Article 174, I mean Standing Order 174. But this one we wanted to reorganize for members who had three committees, members who had four committees, members who had more than two committees, so that members can effectively serve in one committee or two committee for maximum. But Mr. Speaker, we were denied to, that, to have that chance. Yesterday, for the first time in the history of this country, of this parliament, Mr. Speaker, we almost went to a voting in the selection committee, where the majority blocked the minority from managing their committees, Mr. Speaker. Madam Speaker, if this House consists of the majority side and the minority side, if the minority cannot manage their side and they have to be managed by the majority side, Madam Speaker, if that is not capture of Parliament, what is capture of Parliament, Madam Speaker? If we have the office of the whip and my leader here is the minority leader, cannot do any effective changes like what's happening now in the Senate, Madam Speaker, why are we in office? Why is Parliament facilitating us? Why don't we close those offices and then we give the keys to the majority leader and the clerk? They can run the parliament the way they're the speaker, Madam Speaker. Especially the majority leader who is the chairman of that committee. Madam Speaker, what has happened yesterday will remain in the history of this parliament and will be remembered as the worst day a committee of parliament made a decision in this country, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, what do we do with those, with those committees now? They are members who are coming to our offices every day who have one committee. And there are members who have three committees. So we wanted to rationalize. And the majority now wants to run the minority side. How are we going to allow that to happen, Madam Speaker? That is a declaration of war in this house, Madam Speaker. And Madam Speaker, if that matter is not arrested by the leadership of this house, the consequences will be dire. So, Madam Speaker, I want to urge the majority leader. Now that he is the chairman of the selection committee, he is the majority leader, to show leadership so that this house can run in the manner that is invested in the standing orders and the constitution, where we have the majority side and we have the minority side. And people have joined those coalitions by choice. Nobody was forced. So if you want to get your committee from the majority side, go and join the majority side and get your committee. The committees were shared in accordance with the proportion, proportion, proportional representation of members in this house, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, our, our, our proposal for rationalizing our sides of the committee was, re, was yesterday rejected through voting. We don't want to, we have a serious uh, crisis outside Parliament. If the members wish, we bring that crisis also inside here, well and good. We know how to do it best. From 2013 to 2017 to all the time we have been doing it, we know how to do it. We have done frimbis here. We have met Uhuru Kenyatta cannot speak in this house one time. We can repeat the same, but we don't want to go that direction. We want to have a direction where we show leadership, and I urge the majority leader to take leadership and make sure our committees are brought here without any fail, and majority should not have a say in how we run our committee. If that demand is not met, I'm issuing here notice that the consequences will be there in 14 days. Well, obviously, honorable members, the first opportunity goes to the majority leader, who is the chair. So your, it's the floor is yours, uh, majority leader. Thank you. Thank you, honorable speaker. And honorable speaker, it is good that uh, the minority whip has raised that very pertinent issue. Because committees of this house, including the selections committee that I chair, and it's the only committee that I chair and I sit in other than the house business committee where I attend as a member under the chairmanship of the speaker. 
but the selections committee I chair. And I chaired the meeting yesterday at uh, yesterday evening from about 5 or 5 p.m. to around 7 p.m. And it is true that there was a list that came from the minority which members felt first it was not part of the circulated agenda for the meeting because the agenda circulated I think from the 27th of this month had two agendas which was approval of the membership to the two sessional committees the powers and privileges committee and the members welfare committee and placement of the two new, new members the honorable Shege and the honorable major deco and when the leader of minority introduced the list of changes under aob we had a spirited engagement for close to an hour on whether first we should admit it such substantive business as aob and eventually we agreed by consensus that we should admit that business under aob therefore it is not true that the majority in any way stopped that business from being transacted we did discuss the list including myself and the honorable leader of minority first reading out the list of the members being moved from what committee to what committee and members had varied opinion to an extent where one of the members and i'm glad the honorable kj is in the house because he's the one who moved the motion that we take a vote. Because where you don't agree on anything by consensus, then the vote decides. And before we voted, the leader, uh, the, the, the minority whip, is the one actually who offered to withdraw the list of changes. Because he saw the sense in building consensus. And why, why, why are we seeking consensus, Honorable Speaker? I said the committees sit on behalf of plenary. We could come and sit, the 349 of us, and place members in committees. But you know that would be a marketplace and it cannot work. Therefore, when a committee sits, and when you are a chair of a committee, and I know the Honorable Junette has never chaired any committee for the last 12 years he has been in this house, but I have been the chair of the most important committee, the Budget and Appropriations Committee, where you have to give and take. I have told the Honorable United and the Honorable Pio and I, I believe in consensus building. I believe in people engaging and arriving at fair, a fair engagement and fair results. And therefore, I want to treat a member of the minority party from whichever party, whether you're in Jubilee, whether you're in ODM, whether you're in WIPA, as a member of parliament. And where the Honorable Nikal's rights, I feel his rights are being um, infringed by the Honorable Junet. I will stand up to be counted to protect the rights of Honorable Nikal to be a member of any committee. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, I did implore from last week on the minority that other than doing changes in a very sectarian manner and in an and a very underhand manner by sneaking in at least the last minute through the clerk's office, let us engage as we did when we were forming these committees. Let us have changes from the majority. Let us, because even the majority may desire to, and we, we desire to make changes. These members in the majority, on the majority side will tell you there are some who want to sit in other committees. There are members who are appointed to some committees. They have never attended a single meeting. And I did commit as a chair of the selections committee that unlike in the two previous assemblies where I have sat, where the selections committee only sat once at the beginning of every session, we intend to have regular meetings of the selections committee to review the work of committees and the work members are engaging on in committees. So that we, we preempt the situation where members are placed into committees, they appear before a committee, sign, run to the next committee, sign, and probably run to a third committee and sit for 30 minutes. And you offer me no meaningful engagement, and you don't give value to that committee. And therefore, Honorable Speaker, it is in that endeavor to ensure, one, there is fairness. 
because I do not want to chair a committee where the Honorable Jerusha Momani feels that her rights were infringed on. She had no notice that she was being moved from one committee to the other. She has not been given an opportunity by the whip or the minority leader or the majority leader or the majority whip. Therefore, it's only in the pursuit of fairness, and maybe it, is, it could be my weakness to try to be fair to everybody, but not to control in any way the minority side. And I want to be on record. I have no business running the minority side. When you seek to be guided, please look for the people taking you to Jivanji, not Kimani Shongwa. I will guide you in the selections committee. Probably why the Honorable Junette is saying that nobody has been forced into their coalition. And indeed, you remember even last year, before elections, we were inviting people to the coalition of the willing, the Kenya Kwanzaa coalition. There is no secret that the Azimio coalition party was not a coalition of the willing. It was a co co coalition of coercion and intimidation by the Handshake brothers. We are not in the last regime, Honorable Junet, where anybody within the majority will seek to run the minority side. I want to ask you, the Honorable Junet, the minority leadership, take charge of the political parties under your coalition. I have no business managing the political parties on your coalition. But those on the Kenya Kwanzaa coalition can rest assured they will, and they will enjoy fairness, they will have equal opportunity to enjoy their rights and privileges as members of parliament. And there will be no animal that will be more equal than the other, as the case is in Azimio, where the Honorable Junet sits and decides who will sit in a committee by himself without engaging and without consultation with members of his coalition. Therefore, it is actually in, in, in bad faith, Honorable Speaker, for the Honorable Junet to be raising this issue, knowing we had engaged with him one on one. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, Our Honorable Members, I Madam, give two opportunities. One on my left to the, to the Honorable Junet because he has been mentioned, and on this side I'll give the Honorable uh, John Waweru. Madam Speaker, Madam, Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, Madam, Madam Speaker, I want to tell the Majority Leader. Oh, the honourable members. I want to. I would like the honourable Junet to be heard in silence, honourable members. Madam, Madam Speaker, I want to tell the majority leader, and to remind him, that this house has majority and minority. The majority leader behaves as though we are under the Kanu days, when we were being led by the majority leader only in this house. Shame on him, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, what is this fairness? What is this fairness he is talking about, when his own members? are suffering in his own coalition and is unable to deal with them. Madam Speaker, what is this fairness he's talking about? His own members have no CDF, he's head of he's in government. His own members have no bursary, he's in government. His own members have no nothing to tell their constituencies, he's in government. Madam Speaker, if democracy is supposed to be allowed to mature in this country, what the majority leader has just said here should not be on record of this parliament, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, how can he say he's the one who can be fair to Jerusha Mumani? When, when has her coalition been unfair to her? When? Madam Speaker, when? Madam Speaker. And Madam Speaker, people like, like now, what is her name? Uh, Mashmiwa Korele is saying, will tell you. If she wants to join another coalition, nobody's holding her back. She can go tomorrow morning. But if you are in our coalition, you must adhere to the rules and regulations of this coalition, Madam Speaker. And this parliament is going to generate to chaos now, the way okay. I'm seeing. Madam, Madam Speaker, Jeanette, you we will not allow. You have we made will your not point. allow. You, you have made your point, uh, Honorable Junette. And because the Honorable um, Kerry has been mentioned, and you also mentioned the Honorable Sarah Korere, I feel that it is fair. I will give a chance. Order. Order, Honorable Members. I will give a chance to the Honorable John Waweru. Please proceed, Honorable, Honorable John Kier. Madam Speaker, I do believe that in this house we are able to debate. And debate. Madam Speaker, 
I believe that in this house we are able to debate and debate rationally, Madam Speaker. And as you rightly said, Madam Speaker, I was in that meeting. And I want to tell this house authoritatively, Madam Speaker, that what has been presented by the majority leader is properly before this house. The committee applied itself and in the best way that they could because what is being debated here by the leader, the majority whip, actually appeared before the committee and procedurally, Madam Speaker. We had to pause the meeting to actually accommodate the list that they wanted to bring to the committee, Madam Speaker. In fact, to resolve the impasse, I had to call, to, to implore the, the chairman to actually call the committee, the, the matter to a vote. But more importantly, Madam Speaker, I want to associate myself with the words of the majority leader. That the majority side has no business managing the minority side. In fact, what is happening, Madam Speaker, is natural. Last year, when we were saying that this coalition is coercing people into Azimio, when we were saying that this coalition oh, down, is down, pulling down, people down. into Azimio, when we were saying that this coalition is intimidating people into Azimio, we meant exactly what we did. And no amount of shouting from Honorable Mili will stop me from saying that there shall be a stampede out of Azimio because it is not a coalition of the willing. People are running out of Azimio because they are seeing the injustices in that coalition. The Wiper Party is crying in Azimio. The Wiper Party has been conned from the time this Azimio was conned. It changed into NASA and it is now Azimio and it is still conning Wiper. The reason why you see the, the opposition side, the minority side silent is because there are big brothers in the Azimio who have been bullying other junior members in that coalition, Madam Speaker. But I need to say, Madam Speaker, that as you well said, this is a house of debate. If we want Mandamano, Mandamano we can take to Jakaranda, we can take it to Jivanji, we can take Mandamano to Kamukunji, but this house shall remain the house of sober debate where ideas shall be weighed by their merit, not by how loud you shout on the floor of the house. Madam Speaker, I want to say that the majority side has presented its list, the minority, the minority side has been unable to even agree on what changes they want in these committees. So if they want to abscond, Madam Speaker, it is their Honorable right KJ. to abscond even the sittings, Madam Speaker. But Azimio shall your face point. a massive stampede of members, of coalition members and parties running away from Azimio. The stampede is... A point. Honorable members, the last opportunity, honorable members, will go to the Honorable Sarah Korere. Speaker, naomba ni kushukuru na mwishimua speaker wahenga wanasema mficha uchi hazai. Na mwishimua speaker Kinara wa walio wachache alipo zungumza hapa alisema kwa kimombo kwamba wanataka kushukua hatua za kinidhamu Mheshimiwa speaker utasikiza na amesema na, na mheshimiwa speaker mimi nataka kusema wakati mheshimiwa Junet anasema kwamba wale wanataka kwenda kuchukua nafasi zao Kenya kwanza waende Nataka ni mpashe hatuendi. Na kama wako na njia ya kutupeleka, wat, watafute tinga tinga watupeleke. Tutaka kwenye hii mrengo. Manake mweshimua speaker, ni aibu kwamba, ndugu zetu ambaye ni kinara wa wachache, hawana ile uvumilivu wa kusikiza eh, mawaitha ambaye inatofautiana na yao. Na mweshimua speaker, mweshimua speaker, eh, kwa kingeresa wanaita intolerance. Na mweshimua speaker, kila moja alie katika nyumba hii, alichaguliwa, alitumia malizake, alitumia akili, alitumia wakati, kutafuta kura, 
kujitaftia na kutaftia ule mrengo. Yes. Kwa hivyo mheshimiwa speaker tunapofika hapa alafu watu wanaanza kuhujumu wengine ati sasa watu wakienda kukutana na rais wa Kenya na Kenya kuna rais mmoja. Hakuna wapili ati unaomba ruhusa. Hiyo ni mamlaka ya Imla. Mbaya zaidi ya ile Imla tulijua katika nchi mheshimiwa speaker. Na mheshimiwa speaker Atuezio na members let the honorable ikulu. Sarah Korere be heard in silence just the way the other honorable members have been heard you have the floor honorable Sarah Korere na na mheshimiwa speaker na vielewa mimi ni kwamba kila mheshimiwa katika nyumba hii ako na wajibu wa kuhakikisha kwamba serikali imewajibika awe wa upande ile ama wa upande hii kwa hivyo mimi nashindwa na kizaza ambaye ndugu wetu kiongozi wa wali, ama kinara walio wachache anataka kulete kisiri ni cha nini haswa na iwapo iko basi wasifanye kisiri walete kinaga ubaga manake chama ambaye mimi nasimamia na unajua waswahili wanasema paka aki, akiondoka panya utawala Mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta alipoondoka jubilii kwa sasa hivi mimi ndio party leader nashikilia. Na kama wana ODM wanataka kuzungumza wazungumze na mimi. Kwa hiyo mheshimiwa speaker naomba kinara wa wengi alinde uhuru wa bunge hii na alinde haki ya wabunge hapa na washirikiane na ndugu wetu hapa na waashe maneno ya jivanji wako katika nyumba hii waseme ile wanataka honorable members um, honorable members first of all the matter that we are discussing has already been a decision has already been made has already been made and uh, i would like to address the honorable junet you have been a leader in this house this is your third term in the house clearly order honorable nikal Oda honda bonyikal. Oda. Oda honda bonyikal. There are processes, honorable members, there are processes that happen based on standing order number one, from standing order number 172, 173, through to 175. To 175. Clearly, this matter has gone through processes and it was brought to the house and a decision has been made so honorable members i would like to order that we move to the next order next order next order Order number 13, motion, general debate on the proposal to Parliament to consider amending the Constitution and the Standing Orders, resumption of debate. Honorable members, order Honorable Nikal. Please, Honorable Nikal, I order that you go back to your seat. First of all, Honorable Nikal, you will go back to your seat. Please proceed to your seat, Honorable Nikal. Honorable members, the next order is a resumption of debate. Honorable members, we already moved to the next order, which is, which is resumption of debate. And uh, in regard to that, honorable members, I will give the opportunity to 
Honorable Kuria Kimani, member for Molo. Thank you, Honorable I gave the, Speaker. an opportunity to the member for Molo, the Honorable Kuria Kimani. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Speaker, for giving me a chance to contribute to this particular motion. The issue before us, Madam Speaker, of the amendment of this constitution is a discussion that has been ongoing for a long time, Madam Speaker. And when we were doing our campaigns as a Kenya Kwanza government, we said, that there was no need to go for a referendum to put the things that you felt needed to be corrected in the Constitution, that those particular issues that needed to be corrected in the referendum could be done through Parliament. And therefore, Madam Speaker, I'm very happy that this matter is now appearing before us. It's now time for us to debate. Even, Madam Speaker, on the issue that had been said earlier and the confusion that was here earlier on the leader of majority and leader of minority, Madam Speaker, and some of the issues that we're saying. That let us set up the office of leader of, of opposition in the constitution. So that, Madam Speaker, as I have said this here before, when the minister. Honorable members, the honorable member for Molo shall be heard in silence, and the matter that you are bringing up had already been concluded. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I really want to implore on our, on our minority side that as you ruled, this is a house of order and you're on the next order. Madam Speaker, I look forward to that time when we are talking about the budget, when you're reading the budget for 2023-2024, Madam Speaker. Honorable members, order, order, honorable members. Order, honorable, honorable Buyu. Honorable Junette, take your seat. Please take your seat, honorable Junette. Honorable Minority Leader, please take your seat. Honorable Members, I am not going to order number 12 because it has already been concluded. We are in order number 13 and I gave the opportunity to the member for Molo. Honorable Member for Molo, please proceed with debate. Madam Speaker, the issue that you are talking about the office of leader opposition is even what you are facing here, Madam Speaker. members, honorable members, I have a point of order from the honorable Kagusha. Madam, Madam Speaker, I stand on uh, standing order number 35 and I realize we do not have quorum to conduct any business in this house. So, Madam Speaker, I beg that we suspend this debate since we have no quorum in this house. Put the question, Madam Speaker. Put the question, Madam Speaker. Honourable members, honourable members, honourable members, clearly we have no quorum and I order that the bell be rung for 10 minutes, honourable members.